sew a button onto my shirt. It took me half an hour to get it done. I don't know how you created what you have created there. Do spend time going round the exhibition. Uh, Andrew, you were kind enough to say in, in your speech that um, as a young member of parliament, this would have been the early 1980s, I, uh, I, I gave you um, all support and encouragement. I dare say I did because that's what members of parliament, constituency members of parliament do. But what you may not know uh, is that when Lewis Rose came to me and said, uh, there is this uh, young man, Andrew Pugh, who uh, wants to build a cable car up to the heights of Abraham, I remember saying to Lewis, well, certainly, uh, if, if you think I should support him, and Lewis did, I, I, I will, but I remember thinking, when are the men in white coats going to come and take this man away? It's, it's an impossible proposition. I don't see how it must be enormously expensive to, to build this, this thing. Who's, who's going to ride on it? Your involvement with the London Eye is, is, is quite well known and um, said by many to ha have been absolutely critical. Um, there are people who say that the London Eye would never have opened. Uh, on the at the beginning of the millennium, if, if it hadn't been uh, for Andrew, um, I expect that took a certain amount of um, professionalism and courage. But I think that it's the little risks, the little adventures that we take early in our lives, that are very often the fathers, so to speak, of the of the bigger enterprises that we get involved with later. And I I, I do think that your your vision in setting up the cable car was one of those risks and a greater risk probably and and a risk that took more courage than perhaps anything you've ever done since and perhaps the london eye in, in the world of politics words like uh, vision and, and courage are bounded around uh, more conspicuous by their their presence as words than they, they are um, by the way they're ever translated into actions. But in the world of business and enterprise, those words, courage and vision, really have a meaning. And, and you have exemplified it uh, with, with this project and everything that it has done for the local area. So uh, I am pleased and, and proud with Julian to cut this ribbon, but I don't feel that either of us really deserve it. It's, it's you and Vanessa who deserve it. Thank you for organising this.
Wow.